Well, the first thing I remember is coming up the elevators and having them open and, and being told this space <laughs> is what you got to work with. And um, I went, wow, it, it was big. It was intimidating, but it was exciting because then I could make something big. <laughs> so then I started playing around with what would feel good for the entrance of the Native American exhibit um, for the beginning because that's what you first see. I was asked to sketch, make a, a drawing of what the concept was, and because we had a certain size limitation, even though it was a huge room, um, and also because it's on the third floor, um, the weight and you know all of these things had to go into play. Um, we suggested doing something possibly in fiberglass or bronze, and um, and everyone wanted to go more organic. They wanted um, a clay piece. But f for me, making something that big out of clay and then firing it um, wasn't attractive. <laughs> I had just finished a, a large commission piece for Santa Fe that was fired. And so I thought, I wonder if they'd be willing to not fire it. <laughs> and so we start talking about the possibility of creating a mud woman that is just like a, an adobe brick or a, a plastered uh, adobe wall, but a sculpture instead. And that was very exciting. So then we start playing around with how do we build something like that. So then I um, went to my sister and her husband, um, Athena and Bill Steen, who uh, work with Straw Bale Construction. And I says, what would you do? What would you make something that organic out of that would be light enough? And, um, and we could sculpt it still. And that was when my sister, Athena, uh, suggested the, uh, the, the straw wattles that they use for land restoration along the highways. And um, it's the first time we've ever tried it, her too. And we played around with it down at their place to see if we could form it and move it around and found that it was movable and it's a light, strong material and it's organic and it'll stick to clay, to mud. And so we built her out of these straw bottles as the base and, um, and then the sculpting part will happen a lot with the mud. So how did, 